Good morning, and welcome to another vindictive version of Diatribes from the Voice of Doom. Now here's your vociferous and venomous host, Voice of Doom. Good morning. It didn't look like there was much news on when I woke up. And I thought, I'm not even going to do a diatribe because I talked about everything. But, lo and behold, there was a hearing that got me mad again. I'm going to try not to lose my temper because it's a waste of time to yell and scream about a kabuki theater, a dance, a very bad dance. Hearings, I told you before that these, I'll say dog and pony show, I'll say some sort of carnival or clown car of activity are not getting to the bottom of anything and never will. What those hearings are, are platforms for the so-called leaders of our Congress to pontificate from their viewpoint. And one side is hating what's going on, and the other side is defending what's going on. And like I said, they're not hearings. Now, if we had started hearings just in my lifetime, let's just say, let's just say the 70s and 80s, if they had done hearings like they do now, back then, Nixon never would have had to resign. In fact, he might have been voted for a third term, for all we know. Um, there never would have been any kind of exposure of any wrongdoing or any possible malfeasance in the 80s. And by the time the 90s came around, the hearings started to degenerate into what they are today, to where you have two sides. One's a prosecution and one is defense. There's no trying to get information, trying to get facts. That's the last thing anybody wants. Is they work to their advantage now misinformation and disinformation. Now, the whole hearing was with this Mayuckas character, and I don't like him because he's lying through and through. He's telling us to believe things that aren't happening. He's trying to say that things were worse, and now they're trying to fix a broken system, but they can't, so they have to let everybody in. Now, I'm going to go from a different angle. Instead of being all mad about people coming in um, since I'm not a nationalist I won't say I don't believe in borders I will say I'm not a nationalist and if people want to keep pouring in and we want to keep letting them come in we will just let people come in until this country has absorbed as much as it possibly can and then we'll see what happens after that but I don't see any rhyme or reason to how they're letting people in. And my main concern is that something bad happens with a bomb. Or maybe just one time this big bushel of fentanyl will make it through and kill everybody in the country. Because they're not really concerned about how many people die. I think it's their main goal is to kill as many Americans as possible and replace them with other people that may not exactly adhere to the American ideals which were the foundation of this country <clears throat> and we're not living up to them either because if we did live up to the ideals we wouldn't put up with any of this crap none of it there's nobody in this country that has an ounce of gumption to do anything about anything they just let it happen until something really bad happens and then everybody wrings their hands and rends their garments and throws ashes on themselves because this bad, bad thing happened.
Terrorism was a threat to America for many decades before finally we kind of got complacent and the buildings went down. And then suddenly everybody woke up. And then suddenly we're at war with terror, which we basically lose. I mean, when you look at the bottom line, we lost the war on terror because we allowed everything to go back like it was, only worse. We gave them all kinds of weapons. We won't go into that. The idiocy, I can't stand certain parties that are lauding this bald idiot from Cuba. And this stupid-ass idiot, whatever the hell, Jackson Lee. Well, you were an immigrant, weren't you? Yes, I was. I'm very proud to come to America. Did, he, did she ask him how he got here? Did he come on a raft? I bet you if she asked how he got here, he'd say, I went the legal way. My parents immigrated here as refugees from Cuba, and we did it legally. So why aren't you saying people should be legal now? Well, uh, they are legal. They're going through our system, which we have carefully crafted. We're doing a much better job than the last president. Much better. That was a broken system. They were ripping kids from their mother's arms. Now they're just leaving kids there. There's no mother's arms to be ripped from. Just leave them out in the bushes. It's broken. It's totally broken. They want it broken. And let them come. I want 100,000 people a month at least. No. 18,000 a day? Yeah. I want... 480, 540,000 people a month coming in. One million people every two months. I want six million people coming in a year, and I want it to go up from there. I want people to keep squeezing in. I want the border to be inundated with people to the point where there's nowhere near enough um, National Guardsmen or... Um, Department of Homeland or any of these border guards to even come close to handling it. I want to see massive crowds storming the border because we need to have the conflagration. It's getting out of hand. We can't just keep slouching toward Gomorrah. we got to have a major upheaval, so let's get it going already. Let's not pussyfoot around with these people. We know that it's a disaster. We know something bad's going to happen. Everybody knows it. And to watch this Mayuckus character is almost vomit-inducing. I can't stand watching these hearings. You have five minutes. Well, you used up two of my five minutes by arguing about the last person's two minutes that he lost. Oh, my God. You have five minutes to ask questions, but if your answer takes too long, you're using up my five minutes. Come on, these aren't hearings. Everybody with half a brain knows they're not hearings. Do I have to go into detail about how stupid it is? Just watch it. If you can watch it for more than 10 minutes, I tip my hat to your constitution, to your, your intestinal fortitude, because it's sickening to watch, sickening. And I want the border to be inundated. I hope that they're coming by boat. I hope they're coming to Oceanside in large yachts that they got from some Russian oligarch. And I hope they're all coming through every part of the border and Florida and Georgia. Come up, you know, the Atlantic seaboard, start coming in boats. And Canada should have some refugees. I don't understand why we're not giving amnesty to Canadians. They have a tin pot dictator running their country. You would think they'd all want to flee. But I guess they're not concerned about that. But I don't like my yuckus. don't like him at all. And I don't like that fat, flabby thing that had all of his fat removed and God knows where it went. Probably went into the drainage good for the environment, 
all that fat that was removed and now he's just a flabby pile of skin can't stand him don't want to even hear his voice and now let's talk about a remedy okay the election's coming and everything's going to be good because the d's are going to just lose badly well if one d gets in i'm consider that a failure i consider this country an utter failure if even one d is elected so that's a long road to hoe because there's so many um, idiotic people in this country that apparently managed to register to vote somehow. I don't know how they had the brain capacity to do it. But they will vote for the D's, and even if the D's win, which they could, you don't understand how crazed this world is now. The D's could win. People will say yes, even though Petri dish is demented and senile and corrupt to the bone and a liar to the bone we do trust in the democrats to run congress because they give away lots of stuff so they could still win and i don't know what will happen after that but if it looks like they're not going to win then they will probably do almost anything to cheat lie steal blow up buildings blow up cities. I wouldn't put it past the D's to blow up a major city in order to create a disruption. Because that's just the way they are. They'll do almost anything for the good of the people. Um, but as far as an election, I don't see us having one. Should be in martial law by November. But we'll see what happens. I'm just kind of pissed. I don't even, I didn't really plan out what to say. I was just going to rant because it's just annoying to see these so-called hearings. Five minutes. You took up my time. You took up my time answering my question. Well, your question took four minutes. Well, you, you know, I got another minute. Oh, my God. It's not even a kindergarten class. I mean, and then, all right. All the D's had to go off into different tracks like, well, uh, the border's fine, everything's good there, but what about the domestic terrorists? Aren't you taking care of domestic terrorists who are terrorizing minorities and terrorizing, you know, people of color and people of, you know, LGBT? There are all these domestic terrorists that are all over the place that are causing all these problems. Well, they would love that. The D's would just relish any domestic terrorist of a Caucasoid persuasion that may be a little bit right of center to do anything, do any kind of domestic terrorism. They would just love that. Oh, my God, would they love it. So don't even talk to me about protecting from domestic what they're actually asking is, why haven't there been any domestic terrorists running around that we can, you know, make hay out of? That's what they're asking, Mayakas. It's like, you're doing too good a job with these domestic terrorists. You're going to let a couple of them get away with something so we have some fodder. Otherwise, we're doomed. And we're all doomed anyway. Our political system is totally effed up. Democracy is a failure. So forget that. I'm tired of these touts and all these old guard people talking about the electoral system and democracy, the threat to democracy. Democracy should be threatened. It's dead. It's over. And we're not going to solve any problems the way we're doing things now to bring on the conflagration, and then we can start again. And I hope it's not too anarchistic after... The rubble is cleared, um, but we'll see how people are. We'll see how the survivors behave. It's going to be an interesting time coming soon. So I did get a diatribe in today, and I think it might be halfway decent. I have to look at it, but enjoy the rest of the day. Black coffee. And uh, I hope those hearings are over. Goodbye.